Hey guys, Mike here with Real Texas Outdoors. Got a quick video for you guys today. This is a trap designed specifically for catching bullhead catfish. Now, uh, I'm gonna go over it here and I'm just gonna do this in one take and one shot. I'm not gonna move the camera and stuff. Just to explain, you guys, if, if you're familiar with our products, you know that we build Z-traps. This is a Z-trap, as you can see, or an N-trap, some of you guys say, but it's a Z-trap. And uh, the, the reason that we designed this one specifically for bullhead is number one, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to get rid of bullhead, bullhead catfish in a pond. Uh, we normally just tell them to buy like the regular Z-trap and we'll modify it, but I got that question enough that we've just made a trap we're gonna put on the side here for bullhead specifically. Again, I'll explain why it's specifically for bullhead in a second. Uh, I wrote a blog maybe two months or so ago and it's gotten a lot of traffic. People are really interested in it. Apparently it is a bigger problem than I thought. Uh, a lot of people are, are, are trying to get rid of them through one means or another. This is the way that I would personally do it. I'm not just saying that uh, because I make the traps or manufacture it. Uh, there's a lot of other options as far as you know, getting rid of them from hiring someone who does like electro fishing uh, all the way to using poison. And, and I don't, I don't want to spend the money to do that. And I don't, I don't want to put the poison in the water if, you know, if it were my pond. And so I would just elect to trap the fish. And so anyhow. That's what this is. This is designed specifically for bullhead. And again, I say specifically because the entry points on this trap are four inches this way, four inches long or four inches tall by two inches wide. Uh, technically, this trap wouldn't be legal in most public lakes uh, just because the entry points are, are too big. Uh, now, you, you, I advise you to uh, look at the regulations in your state to be safe. Uh, but if you're going to buy this trap specifically make sure it's like for private use private pond or um, or your state allows these bigger entry points but as you can see i put cardboard in here so you can see the the holes or the where the fish go in uh, they are four inches tall by two inches wide and what that does is allows bullhead catfish up to i would say eight ten inches to go in there um, now you'll notice in this trap there's no center bait box there's nothing like that i found that you don't really need a bait box in these traps now uh, what I would recommend doing is taking like a tube of uh, maybe even going and getting some like cheap pantyhose or something and take and make it a tube of dog food or even uh, go to Walmart and get like some catfish paste bait like catfish charlie so on make a tube out of that catfish bait and then simply throw it in the center of this trap and then throw the trap in the water if you're worried about the tube like you know floating to an edge you can uh, on this side, we actually made the entry point a much bigger entry point. You can see from the images here uh, on the truck, uh, I made a picture with a ruler here showing this. This is a five and a half inch by five and a half inch core, and it allows, I mean, you can, your whole hand can go in there. So any size bullhead that can get in the trap, you'll be able to easily pour it out of there. Again, going back to the bait, if you're worried about baiting it, you can simply take um, your dog food, your tube, or, you know, whatever you want, and then just throw it right here in the center you can reach your hand in there very easily. And what you want to do is affix it to the center of that trap somewhere here and then use a zip tie or something just to hold it in place. Um, outside of that though, if you're just going to use this in personal property to like catch brim, things of that, you don't, I wouldn't even bait it at all. You probably could even catch plenty of bullhead catfish without baiting it. But if you want to optimize it, you know, catfish like the scent of nasty, nasty stuff. And so I would definitely put some bait in here and you're going to catch the fire out of the bullhead catfish in your pond. So, Anyway, this trap is, I guess I should have started with that. This trap is um, just like our premium heavy duty trap on the website. This is a, a 16 gauge, half inch by half inch welded wire. Uh, it is, uh, this trap is the same style of trap that I stood on top of. I made a, a video a while back with a premium Z trap where I can actually stand on top of these. I would not do that with any other trap on the market, but these are stout, stout traps. They're a little bit heavy. They're coming around 10 pounds. I'd say, I don't know, eight to 10 pounds. Um, so they are a durable, heavy trap. And we elected to make it out of this heavier wire just because those bullhead catfish are a little bigger and you don't want to fill up like a real flimsy wire trap with catfish and you know damage the trap pulling it out. This trap will hold and pick up anything you want to put in it. It'll last you for years and years if you take care of it. Again, this is high, high quality galvanized wire. It's not the stuff you would buy like at Lowe's. It's not the stuff you could get at a hardware store. We have to special order this. Again, it's 16 gauge, half inch by half inch. Uh, it's an animal cage quality wire and it is galvanized after weld, which means that all of the little weld points are galvanized. So good trap, last few years to take care of it. And again, designed specifically to help you with your problem getting rid of bullhead catfish. If you have any questions about this trap or any other trap on our site, please let me know. You can drop a comment in the link or in the comments below, or you can shoot me an email, mike at realtexasoutdoors.com. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. God bless.